Hey everybody, it's time for another Fan Mail Friday. We have an awful lot of packages to go through again, including the biggest package we ever got. Why don't you say so, Livy? Yeah! There she is. All right, let's go and do this. Which one do you want to do first? Uh, why don't we start with some... Why don't we start with some medium ones? Uh, is this a, Yeah, that's a medium one. Let's do some medium ones first. Bring them on over, Liv. All right, Fan Mail Friday. Uh, the first package we have is from Anthony. Let me cover his um, address first. I would like to thank you for providing such great content on our YouTube channel. Several months ago, I stumbled across a flea market find video, and I've been a loyal subscriber ever since. Thank you very much. He goes on to say that after being absent from collecting since my childhood, your channel has helped renew my interest in baseball cards. It also has brought my daughters and I closer together. That is awesome to hear. Thank you, Anthony, for the package. Let's check out what is in here. All right, we have a Barry Bonds coin from looks like maybe like 1990 when they were doing those coins. Miguel Andujar, rookie card from Alan and Ginter. That's nice. Ronald Acuna Jr., Ahmed Rosario, Shohei Otani, Walker Bueller. Those are some good ones. And Glaber Torres. I love the rookie class this year. Lots of great players in this class. So those are awesome. Thank you, Anthony, and your family. Hey, next up, this one is from William Hodges. Inside, I see some nice little packs of cards here. I see a Chipper Jones on the back and also a bunch of singles from 2018. That's very cool. A lot better than getting the stuff from the 80s and 90s. No offense to people that have sent that. It's just I have literally probably like 12 to 15 of every card from the 80s and 90s, it seems. Okay, William writes, what's going on? I recently subscribed to your channel and fell in love with collecting all over again. I was born in 82, so you can guess the players I collect pretty easily. So we're basically from the same era. Other than the vintage cards, I do still love to open a pack or a box of old wax packs so much that he started his own channel. So He's got his own channel there, Will Open Packs. Check him out. There's probably some cool stuff on there. Included some newer cards he collected, um, and there's plenty to give away to you guys, other subscribers. And he sent a bunch of good stuff from 2018 that I can pass on to you guys. Lots of great players in here. Scherzer and Jose Ramirez. There's a Mike Mucina rookie card. Austin Meadows, nice. The show code. Very nice. Love that. Got to challenge people to the show pretty soon. Um, that's something that's on the horizon, hopefully, for this channel. Maybe not every day, of course, but maybe a once-a-week thing. Just play the show once a week. Um, really awesome cards in here. Got a nice manufactured patch there from Max Scherzer. Don't have one of his. We got an autograph from Hank Conger. A Mac Williamson relic. That's cool. Reggie Jackson. Numbered card there is always nice. Dustin Fowler, rated rookie numbered. Matt Olson rookie card. That's a decent one. Matt Olson's stock is going up, and Livy's flicking stuff at me. Um, really awesome. Check them out, guys. We'll open packs. Okay, our next one is from Seamus Barrett. And inside, we have a bunch of cards and a little note. Let's check out the note first. Hello, Eric. I've watched your videos for a little over a month now, and I'm a big fan of your channel and would like to work out some trades with you. If you're interested, please send a note back or let me know if you're looking for any certain cards. Let me know what you like there, Seamus, and I'll send you some cards back. As you saw, uh, Will Open Packs just sent us a bunch, so usually... Um, People will just tell me their favorite player or team, and the team makes it easier, but I, I can find the favorite players too, and I will send you, or do my best to send you back what you requested. Alex Bregman rookie card, very nice. Thank you for that. Mike Trout 2011 Tops Update rookie card. Um, reprint. Look, Willie Stargell 82 Tops is pretty cool. We have a, what is this one? A New England Patriots um, relic. Um, Stevon Ridley, I guess that is. I don't know much about football, so I've never even heard of him, believe it or not. Harrison Bader, I'm, oh, nice. Corey Seager, rookie card. Eddie Gamboa, autograph. And then we have Jeff Neiman, autograph is cool. And Mike Napoli, relic, very nice. And we have some Diamondbacks relics. Brandon Webb, who is one of the best pitchers in the game before his shoulder gave out. And Chris Young. Awesome, thank you. I'll try to send you some stuff back. Um, I see that you are in Massachusetts, so I'm guessing you like the Red Sox. Next up is Julian Bach, or Boke, not sure how you pronounce that, but Julian, thank you for your package. I see you from time to time in the live streams, and looking forward to seeing what you have to say and what you sent. Julian's note says, 
I've sent you some baseball cards. There's some rookie cards and top letters. Also, there's some Pokemon cards for Olivia, and you would like some Mets cards. Thank you very much, Julian. All right, looks like we have some Pokemon for you. What do you say, Livy? Thank, thank, thank you. And then we have uh, Mark Trumbo rookie card is nice. Roberto Alomar rookie. Terry Steinbach rookie card. Some nice Topps Chrome cards. Johnny Bench, I need to get this real card, 1968 Topps. I still need to get my hands on a bench. And I will never turn down an 89 Andy Van Slyke Topps, the first card that I ever really kind of fell in love with and collected. Thank you very much, Julian. Next up, JTG. I found your channel a few months back when one of your collection purchase videos popped up in my recommended videos feed. Since then, I've been hooked on your videos due to your passion and knowledge of the hobby. More recently, I've been watching your spring training videos as well as traveling to the Cactus League in 2019. As a graduate student, I rely on YouTube for my card-related interactions as it's difficult to find others who meet in my personal life who also are collectors. The platform is great for not only sharing my own experiences but watching others who enjoy the hobby in baseball. That there is a good stack of rookies from various years and products, including some through the mail autographs plus one graded John Carlos Stanton rookie card. Very nice. I have been looking for John Carlo rookies. That is extremely nice. He continues, no need to send anything back in return. However, I also have a YouTube channel where he makes card related videos. Um, so everybody go check this out. Triple Crown 24. We've got our second YouTuber. He said some rookie cards. I'm seeing Walker Bueller rookie cards. That is very nice. Thank you very much for those. Mike Cameron autograph is a nice one. Jason Grilly, Danny Duffy, Shio Tani, 1983 Tops design refractor is a good one. And Glaber Torres, that is nice. Oh, uh, look at this, guys. Mike Stanton, now known as Giancarlo Stanton, 2010 Tops Grown, graded out at a nine. That is awesome. That's going to go really well with my other Mike Stanton, which I have right here, right on top of my uh, cards that I'm keeping for my personal collection. I'm, su I'm sure someone might request this, but sorry, everybody. I'm going to keep this one for myself. Really love that card. Thank you so much for that graded Stanton. All right, in the next stack, we have a Brandon Kinsler rookie. I like that one. Brandon Kinsler is my buddy. Carlos Carrasco rookie? That's a really good card. 2010 tops. Drew Stubbs, Buster Posey, Buster Posey rookie card. I needed this one. I was just thinking about looking for that one. Johnny Venters, who was comeback player of the year, if I'm not mistaken. Jonathan Lucroy is a good one. Ben Revere, Dellen Betances rookie card. These are some good, decent ones. Um, I didn't start collecting until a few years ago, so I don't have these 2010, 2011 rookie cards. Very nice. Jose Barrios rookie. Aaron Nola, Wilson Contreras, Schwarby. Wow, really awesome. Thank you so much for sending all this stuff. Everybody, make sure you go and check out his YouTube channel. Give him a sub. Evan Longoria rookie card, very nice. Michael Brantley. I mean, if someone does something like this, we definitely got to support them. But Madison Bumgarner rookie card. Wow, these are pretty valuable. At least to me. I mean, this card might only uh, book for a few dollars, but those are awesome. Thank you so much. Everyone, check out Triple Crown 24. Next up, we have Dodgers fan Drew, who is a regular contributor to Fan Mail Friday. Oh, uh, that's okay. Oh, nice. We have a... It's a redemption of Dylan Cousins. Really cool. Topps Chrome Update Autograph Parallel. Dylan Cousins is a big power hitter for the Phillies. That's awesome. This is actually the first redemption that I've going to be sending in this year so awesome thank you so much drew his letter says yo you man it's your pal drew just wanted to send you this redemption card because i saw your video when you got an expired redemption to cheer you up here's this redemption you can receive also thanks for the football card you sent me i really appreciate it in return i'm sending you this card hope you like it pal all right next up we have some packs from dodgers fan drew and the note says Keep doing what you're doing, and here's some packs for you and Olivia for Fan Mail Friday. So expect more from me and hope you get some good cards. Whoa, you got a lot of packs to do. Here you go. And I then, some here's, Wait, yeah, you can have my scissors. You got to learn how to open it the uh, old fashioned way. Let's check these out. Thank you, Drew, for the packs. We got Topps Gallery. I did a box of Topps Gallery from Walmart about, I don't know, when they came out two weeks ago, maybe. 
And I got two autographs out of there, Austin Hayes and also Miles Michaelis. These are pretty nice cards. We have a King Felix on top, and then Corey Kluber, Glaber, Torres. That's a good one. Bryce Harper, I'll take that one. Uh, I haven't seen this one before. Impressionist, Joey Votto. That must be some sort of insert. I didn't get one of those in my box. Hideki Matsui. And then some cool, like, 1962 kind of style-looking cards. Nick Williams, Tyler Wade, Willie Adames, J.D. Martinez, and Chad Green. Sometimes you get some autographs. I think there's more. Oh, this is, sorry, this is Optic. Um, let's see if we get anything good in here. Some decent players there. There's a nice Carlos Correa All-Star card. Then we have our pink parallels. Ahmed Rosario is not bad. Our second Trevor Story. Clayton Kershaw, Mound Marvels. He's going to be a Hall of Famer for sure. There's a Reese Lightning, Reese Hoskins, and Carlos Correa All-Stars again. Regular card. Thank you very much for the cards, Drew. All right, next one is from Chris Burt. And Chris sent us some Pirates cards. And it says, love your videos. Please send some Orioles cards. You got it, Chris. I'm a little behind. I'm like three to, three to four weeks behind. But I will get you some Orioles cards. Next up, this one is from Mr. and Mrs. Al Fuhar. I've been putting some stuff aside for you. If you don't remember, Al sent me 50 bucks a few weeks ago, and I have to get around to getting that out to you. Al writes, although you got recently diagnosed with cancer, you're, you've got to get rid of it permanently, no doubt. You have a great family and attitude to boot. Meanwhile, you can put on hold getting stuff for me. Um, yeah, I'm getting stuff for you. I'm trying to get you the best stuff that I can. Thank you very much for the note, Al, and I am working on some stuff for you. Um, I've got a priority mail box that I've been putting stuff stuff in here and there when I pick them up, and hopefully I, I'm definitely going to get it out before I have my surgery in a couple weeks. All right, next up, this one is from Blake, and Blake writes... I'm a huge fan of you. Can you beat this cancer if you could? Please send a LeBron James rookie or some, um, is that Reds cards and a Bartolo Cologne. And you sent me a Bryce Harper rookie card. You got it, man. You are getting some Reds cards. You're getting a, one of those um, LeBron James uh, rookie reprints that I have. I'll send you a few of those because that's awesome. Thank you very much, Blake. Bryce Harper, love that card. Sam Miller from Canada is writing to us now. Sam has sent us a couple cards here, and they're from, looks like, 2017. And he says, my name is Sam. I live about one hour west of Toronto, Canada. I love your videos so much. I've been subscribed since less than 1,000. So you've been around for, I think I hit 1,000 maybe at the end of 2016 or so. And I've enjoyed all of your content. And, and you're wondering if I could send you an autograph Blue Jay card or you'd like an autograph from any current MLB player. I have some through the mail autographs I would be willing to part with um, for the stuff that you sent me. Thank you, Sam, for the cards. Next up is one from Kenny Katz. So it's good to always write that on there. It says, hello, my name is Kenny Katz, and I'm a big baseball card collector. My favorite videos are your mail openings from your fans. This collecting hobby of mine has turned into an obsession for me, and I never got tired of sorting through cards. My favorite video by far is your 25-box hunt for the Trout and Harper rookie card in the Fairfield boxes. I, too, buy some of the same product, and you've pulled some very nice rookies, such as Harper, but not Trout yet. Odds one and one of getting a hit of my favorite team. So those are pretty good odds. One and one means 100% chance of getting a hit from a Pirates player. It might be a Trevor Williams. Let's see what he sent. Uh, we have some Pirates cards from the 80s and also some newer ones. There's our hit, Patrick Raby. I haven't actually heard of him before. Bo Jackson, 1990 score. I remember that card. We also have a hit from Willen Rosario, former Rockies catcher. Had a few good years. And then Trevor Williams autograph. Thank you very much for those. Really appreciate it, Kenny. Okay, next up is from Seamus again. I should have um, looked a little closer. I would have opened this with your other package. Seamus sends us um, another one here. It says, um, again, Eric, I sent you a package a few days ago with some relic and autograph cards and some rookies, such as Corey Seager. I hope you enjoy these cards. I forgot to say that I'm a big Red Sox fan. Oh, so I did have it right. I figured that out by your address, and you like some Sean Newcomb cards or Red Sox. 
Okay. Nice. Daniel Norris cards. Really cool. Daniel Norris. I'll put those in my Daniel Norris pile over here. This one is from Aaron Paul. I think that's how you say it. Aaron Paul or Aaron Paul. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, but um, I'm very bad with names. You'll have to forgive me. We have a, not, a Daniel Norris autograph. That's my first ever Daniel Norris autograph. Thank you very much for that. I just opened a Daniel Norris thing there. Um, I don't see a note or anything in there. Is there a note? No note, but thank you very much, Aaron. Next, and Jay Stewart is from Canada, our second Canadian. Let's see what he has. I'm guessing that you like the Blue Jays, or maybe you're an old school Expos fan. That is cool. Get well soon. That looks like it might be hand drawn. That is really well done. Very nice. Thank you for that. I was so sorry to hear your bad news. Wishing you and your family all the best with this. I'll be sending positive thoughts from north of the border. Not sure what I can do to add to your collection. I'm another lapse collector who recently rediscovered the hobby thanks to your great videos. I really enjoyed watching your daughter get a ball on her birthday. That was fantastic. Hope you're feeling better soon. Jarvis, thank you so much. Thank you for the card. Very well drawn. And we got two Jeff Bagwell cards in there. And now we have one from Troy Baker, also from Canada. So it looks like the channel is starting to grow in Canada. That's good to hear. It's from Canada in this round of fan mail. Let's check out the note. First of all, we have a Canadian quarter. Very nice. It says, just got the card you sent me. Thank you so much. Just got the news of your cancer. Stay strong. You're very motivated to be dealing with what you are and still giving all your fans several videos a week. Thank you, Troy. Trying to uh, stay consistent with the videos and give you at least one a day. And thank you for the cards and also the Canadian Quarter. Now we have a special guest. My wife is coming over here. Show everybody what you made for dinner. I'm going to take a break now. Don't you want to put this on camera? Why not? This is dinner, healthy pizza. Um, the crust, I'm not showing the crust that's mangled. I'm only showing the top of it. So I'm going to take a dinner break now, and I'll be back in a second. All right, dinner is done. Now we're back, and Chris Cochran has sent us a package. The note says, I hope this finds you well. I recently discovered your posts and videos on YouTube, and I must say I love what you post. I've watched a bunch of videos similar but find a lot of them to be fake, clickbait, and just boring. I love how genuine and to the point your videos are. I recently watched a video where you pulled a Daniel Norris card and you commented about how Daniel had the same type of cancer you are battling. I was very moved by your statement. I am an avid Norris collector and have met him on a few occasions. We live in the same town and obviously he's a bit of a local celebrity. Anyway, I wanted to send you some cards to add to your collection. Thank you very much, Chris. Let's see what is in these packages. I see some Daniel Norris cards. Very nice Daniel Norris rookie card. That is a very decent one. A few rookie cards. I've got a stack of Daniel Norris cards that I am putting aside. I wonder if you can see his scar in any of his cards. Um, when you have thyroid surgery, it leaves a scar right above your uh, collarbone. Um, he, I think he had this scar right before he went to the Tigers, maybe. So I'm going to be looking for that on some of his cards. I'm going to have a three-inch scar or so, at least on my neck. Um, it's it's going to be there forever, Livy. It's just going to show that I was stronger than cancer. And look at these. First Bowman Chrome cards. This guy had the same kind I did. Nice. This is an autograph. Certified autograph issue. A couple autographs from Daniel Norris. Yeah, Livy? I had a scar and it went away. Uh, yeah, well, you just probably had a scratch. A scar stays there forever because they're actually going to cut my neck open. Chris, thank you so much for those cards. Awesome Daniel Norris cards. Now we have one from Zachary Arnold. Feels like there's a baseball in here. It looks like a baseball. The baseball cards and the notes. So let's see what we have here. I've loved watching. Sometimes my day has been bad, but when I get home, I watch your videos and lighten up by how much fun you have with baseball cards and how it is cool to see other people with the same interest as me. I've included some baseball cards and an autograph 
ball signed by the commissioner himself, Robert Manfred. Very cool. Please send some Cardinals cards and try to send a few autographs. I don't have that many. Okay. All right. Let's check out this baseball. This will be pretty cool. Um, Rob Manfred's signature is already on all the baseballs right in the middle. You can see it right there. But we can compare his actual signature to the printed signature. That's the printed signature. And that is the real signature. So check it out. It's pretty similar. That's a pretty um, consistent signature. Rob D. Manfred Jr., the commissioner of Major League Baseball. That's awesome. Thank you for that. We have a relic of Starling Marte. That's a good one. Xander Bogart's rookie card. Very nice. And a Jose Altuve is a good one. And Anthony DeScalfani. Thank you for the cards. Next up, this one is from Joe Mendoza. Back. And let's see what he sent. He sent a Merry Christmas card. That's my first Christmas card I got this year. Thank you very much. I just wanted to send you some Pirates baseball cards. Also want to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas. If you could, you and Olivia, please sign my blank card and send it back to me. Olivia, it's time to do some autographs. I know how to spell my name Christmas. All right, there's mine. Now it's your turn. Nice. And Tyler Glassdale, Daniel Hudson. Thank you, Joe, for the cards. Let's show everyone Olivia's autograph. It looks like this. This is what we're sending back to you. Um, there's Olivia's autograph, and she wrote her name underneath, just in case you couldn't tell what it is. Awesome. Okay, how about this one from Kevin Smith? There's some cards and also a note. Check out the note first. It says, Derek, just recently subscribed to your channel. Love the videos. Hope you will enjoy the baseball cards I sent. For you or your fans, I collect cards. I collect vintage Hall of Famers and any of the good 2018 rookies. I, too, am battling cancer and have Hodgkin's lymphoma. I discovered a lump in my armpit, and I was diagnosed in May. Just finished my eight chemo treatments. Soon getting ready for radiation treatments. I've been off work four months. It's been tough, but I'm winning the battle. That's what matters. Keep your uh, spirits up and just keep on fighting, and you will win, Kevin. Thank you very much. Um, my surgery is coming up in three weeks, and then I, too, will have to do some radiation treatments. And I'm hoping that that'll be it, and I'll be back to normal as normal can be and back to making videos every single day. Let's see what we got in here. We have some nice vintage cards. We have Gaylord Perry, Willie McCovey. That is a really nice 1965 McCovey. And we also have a Willie Stargell from 1964. That's a good one, too. Bruce Suter. Bruce Suter rookie card. I was looking for this one. I almost bought this one not too long ago, um, but I felt it was a little overpriced. Thank you for the Bruce Suter rookie card. That one's going in my personal collection pile along with these two. Uh, really nice. Thank you very much, Kevin. A 1971 Don Sutton on top. Wow, Lou Brock. Have I do believe Joe Morgan, Luis Aparicio, Jeff Bagwell, 92 cup card, Jim Tomey, 92. That is a cool one. And Steve Carlton from 1976. What? There's a big huge splatter that's big in black. Where? It's right by the paper, right by that yellow cart. Let me get... Yeah, kill it, kill it, kill it. Well, it probably heard you say that you were going to kill it, and now it's hiding. Yeah, it's over there. Well, the spider got away because Livia blabbered that we, that we were going to kill it. So I hope it doesn't come back to bite us in our sleep. Luckily, we're down in the basement. We'll probably stay down here. Vigio, Piazza, Ripken, Wagner, 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 Johnson, and Gwyn. Thank you for the cards. These were my favorite ones. Really like these because I do not have any of these. Awesome cards, Kevin. Thank you very much. And good luck in your battle. And let's both beat it. This next one is from Sarah Salinsky. Let's crack this one open. I'm gonna have to cover up her address. It's pretty cool you have um, your address stickers being Hall of Fame stickers. Livy is just, throw, why'd you just throw a chair at me? Um, we have, ooh, Austin Meadows. That is an old one, oldie but a goodie. 
Not that old, but I mean, it's one of his minor league cards. And then we have some other Pirates th cards there. And here we have, it says, Enclosed is a few Pirates cards since they are your favorite team. Hoping your surgery goes well. Come across or receive any Kyle Freeland of the Rockies. Would you please pass some along? All right. Thank you very much, Sarah, for the cards. I just had to edit out the last um, package because they didn't want me to open their letter on YouTube. But somebody just sent me this 1974 tops dave winfield rookie card and i am super stoked about it um that's going to my personal collection for sure thank you so much for that very kind gesture um i will not uh, read your video on youtube or open the package but i just wanted to thank you that is awesome i have been really wanting that card. Have a package from jeff bryant Hey, Eric, how are you? Sorry I didn't have any Pokemon cards. However, I'm sending you a small batch of older random Hall of Famers, rookies, etc. I've really been enjoying your YouTube videos and amazed at the many great cards you come across. Chipper Jones, Paul Mulholland rookie, and a Willie Air rookie card. Thank you very much, Jeff. All right, now we have one from Eric Johnson. It's a big priority mail flat rate box. Oh, we got a full, like, 800-count box here. It is a Bud Selig bobblehead. Bud was the former commissioner of MLB a few years ago before Rob Manfred took over. And we also have a Carlos Lee bobblehead from 2005. That is pretty nice. Livy actually collects bobbleheads. Did you want these or do you want me to keep them in my office? What? Um, I want the one of them Oh, no, Livy, You're going to want this one. Why? Oh, wow. What? Bud. Bud Selig. What do you think of this I guy? Can't see. Do you want him in your room or Bernie the Brewer? Bernie. You want Bernie? Okay. Who is that guy? That's Bud Selig. He's the former commissioner of baseball. Bernie the Brewer, Livy's, you can put that next to your pirate pair. Maybe you can get all the mascots. Eric writes, I wanted to start off and say thank you for having a channel that has helped me rediscover a passion for baseball cards. I never lost my passion for baseball itself, even with the lean years the Brewers have had. Same here. When I was out of uh, baseball card collecting, I was still going to Pirates games all the time uh, and everything like that, watching baseball. Thank you very much for the bobbleheads. That's super cool. Libby, you got to go put that in your room before someone steals it, like your little brother or sister. Jim Tomey, rookie cards from 92. Mike Mucina, rookie card from 91. That's a decent. Paul O'Neill, rated rookie. You like that card? I liked Paul O'Neill a lot back in the day. John Smoltz, rookie. Trevor Hoffman, rookie. Alex Madrid, there he is, that guy. Uh, Chipper Jones, 91 Tops rookie card is a good one. Trevor Hoffman, 93 Flair rookie when he was with the Marlins. Hey, okay, Eric, thank you very much for the bobbleheads and the cards. I could tell that we collected in the same era. Uh, you had a lot of 93 and 94 cards. That was probably my peak years of collecting also. Thank you so much for those. Libby, next package. All right, back to a little package. This one is from John White. Um, he was much older. We have ooh, Daniel Norris cards. Let's see if there's a note in here. I don't see any cards. A note in here. All right, we have it looks like a Daniel Norris collection here of rookie cards. Daniel Norris is one of my favorite new players. Um, as I mentioned earlier, this package actually I believe believe is from Joe Chia. He bought these on eBay and just had the seller forward the cards to me instead of sending to him. And Joe, I thank you very much for these cards. Awesome, that's going in my Daniel Norris pile. I have a nice stack that's growing. This one is from Johnson. It says, enclosed are a couple random cards I came across, plus a 10-card prospect set onto somebody else. But let's see what we got here. We have the prospect set. These were the prospects back in, uh, oh, what year was this? 1994 or so, 1993. Uh, Johnny Damon panned out. Um, Roger Cedeno didn't. Alex Gonzalez had a little bit of a career that was okay. Charles Johnson played for a while. Chad Matola was kind of a bust. Phil Nevin played a little while. He's a coach now. Alex Ochoa was sort of a bust. A-Rod, of course, one of the uh, best players of all time, statistically wise, with his, um, how many home runs does he have, Libby? 697. Jose Silva was a bust, and Michael Tucker had a pretty decent career. So about half those guys turned out. Uh, thank you very much for those cards. Now we have a box from Matt Streets. Inside, oh, wow. We've got a, 
Looks like a hanger box that has been repurposed to hold some cards. Let's check out the note from Matt. It says, hope uh, this finds you well. I wanted to write in again and say thank you very much for the media guide you sent me. It made this middle-aged Cubs fan very happy. I think I sent you a media guide from like 1970-something. Um, I watched with great dismay your cancer video. I can only imagine what you and your family must be going through. If there is a bright side to this, you know that your community of fans and supporters will be here for you throughout this ordeal, and hopefully you'll come out no worse for the wear on the other side. I've often found that hobbies can sometimes have a positive influence on life when you're down and out, so I will do my best to help keep your spirits up in that regard. All right, we have a Tyler Glasnow relic. That one's pretty good. I think Glasnow is going to be a really good pitcher, and that trade's going to backfire on us. And we have some Panini Donruss here. Some decent players are in this stack. And a Logan Kensing autograph. Pretty cool from the Marlins. And Austin Meadows rookie card is decent. And Gary Maddox. Thank you very much for those cards. All right, Libby just slid this package into me. Thank you for anything or everything. Love you. And a pack of 89 scored. Thank you, Libby. Give me a huggy. This next one is from Jasper Wilson. Looks like some through the mail or in-person autos. Levy, we got something for you too here. Oh, this is the, this is Jasper Wilson himself. That's pretty cool. It says, hello, my name is Jasper. I am from Iowa. I am a big Cleveland Indians fan. I like your videos and have been watching for a while. I sent a card of me and signed it. I hope you like. I sent some other baseball cards from the 70s and some Pokemon. I know this is asking for a lot, but can I have any Mike Trout rookie cards? Here's the Jasper Wilson card. That is, that's a good picture. Uh, looks real professional, and that's a nice signature. And you got the that's rookie card logo rookie. and everything. That's pretty awesome. Um, did you order these off tops yourself? Because I need to have some of these made of myself. I think that would be pretty cool. A Jay Payton Auto, Walker Bueller rookie card, thank you very much. And some cards from the 70s, including B Bucky Dent. This one is from Scott. It's raining 402 all over our house. Oh, 402 is my box number. Wow, what are these? Whoa, 1985 Super Baseball? I didn't even know they made packs of these. Check out the size of these packs. Where's that 89 score pack that Libby gave me? Okay, check out the size of these packs. This is your traditional pack, 89 score. Now that is a 1985 Super Baseball pack. Um, these must have taken up the entire wax box. These are pretty awesome. Uh, let's see what the note says from Scott. Wow, the Walla Walla, um, is that tweets? Baseball team issued these at the park i picked out a couple of cards for you oh and here these are the walla walla cards that were issued at the park cesar lopez and darius vines and these big cards are pretty cool let's open it up i found the whole set of these at a flea market and i've been intrigued by them ever since look how giant these things are uh, we get a Tony Armas, a Pete Rose 1985 Tops Super Card, and Tom Brunanski. I mean, they hardly even fit in the screen. They're so giant. Pete Rose is the best card in that pack. And, wow, 1985. That's I've never opened a pack of cards this big. Five by seven. These things are gigantic. They are perfect for framing. I mean... You get some decent cards out of here. You could go to the dollar store, pick up a 5x7 frame. Dave Parker, Dwight Evans, and Fernando Valenzuela. Very, very nice. Thank you, Scott. Scott has a note. Please show the address on the video. Guys, I guess send him some fan mail. There it is, Scott Reeser. I always cover up the address, but if you tell me to show your address, I will show it. Thank you for those cards. Livy, I've got a few more packages before we get to that gigantic box. Next up, Travis Williams. Travis sent us some Pirates cards, including some Roberto Clemente cards in here. Let's check out the note. 
note says I'm a huge fan of your videos and have been a follower for quite some time. Now I know your favorite team is the Pirates, so I sent you some from my collection. I have yet to stumble upon an Aaron Judge rookie to add to my collection. So if you have an extra semi, that would be awesome. I will look and see what I have. I definitely have some Aaron Judge cards that I could send your way. Thank you for the cards. This next one is from Cesar Rodriguez. Snip this one open and see what is inside. We have some Pirates cards and something on it. I am a huge fan of your channel. Started watching a few months ago when I started collecting again. Here's some cards for you. I really appreciate if you could send any extra Dodgers cards from 2016 or 2017. A Walker Bueller rookie card in there. Very nice. Thank you for that one. A Med Rosario rookie card. And thank you. I will find some Dodgers cards to send your way. Next up from Daniel Hamilton. We have this big box here. We have a read privately note. All right, I'll put that one aside and read that one off video. We have, it looks like a public note. Libby, we got something for you. Libby's mouth just dropped open. All right, we have a card cube there. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, it says, I love your channel. Just wanted to say thanks for the education and spark for collecting cards again. You have a refreshing look on the hobby. I'm a new subscriber and saw you do Fan Mail Fridays. I'm working on a gift for my son and am looking at any cards with Trout, Stanton, and Kershaw as three favorite players and a few dollars for shipping. Thank you, Daryl, for the note. And let's check out what is in this card cube. Very well packaged. Pretty cool. I never bought too many Sport Flix cards. Evan Longoria and Todd Frazier, 83, like the newer ones there. Andre Dawson, gold cup card. That's a reprint one, but it's still pretty cool. Charlie Morton. Okay, this second one we have there. Oh, there's the money for shipping. Thank you for that. We have some, oh, Miguel Andujar rookie card, like that one. Uh, Juan Soto, these are good ones. This is a good pack. Glaber Torres, Ronald Acuna Jr., Shoyo Tani, rookie cards, very, very nice. Thank you very much for that, Daniel. Um, letter addressed to her. Is Eric Jobs, would you and Olivia side his index card and set it back with your return replay? Reply. Reply. And there's stuff in there too. That's for you. This one's for you. Oh yeah. No, this that's one. eye black. You can put that on your face. And they're like, Wait, you put them underneath? Like right there. Oh yeah, I remember this. Uh, some Pokemon. I hope you enjoy these cards, Olivia. Oh, I can see Sheenix. I know who Sheenix is. Elsa loves Sheenix. Really? Yeah. Elsa is my three-year-old daughter. She never puts the Pokemon cards down. 24-7, she's carrying around a stack of Pokemon cards. Right, Livy? Yeah. Dunce, Bears, Spritzy, Ducklet, Cottony, Isper, Nummel, Leixu, and Shinx. I think that's pronounced Shinx, not Sheenix. We call it Sheenix. Okay. That's why it's called Sheenix. Looks like Shinx, but... All right, you ready to sign? Oh, and Olivia is writing what it means. Very cool. Thank you for those, Dustin. All right, there's only three packages left, and they're all really big, so we're going to do them down here on the floor. This one is from Robert Bennett, and it is a pretty big box. It's a 12-pound box. It looks like we have a letter. Let's read that first. Oh, man. Um, did I? Libby, get, get your face over here and look. Whoa. I always wanted this. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> what is it? It's called this. There's this box. And like you, like you put all your Pokemon cards in it. Oh wow, Livy, wait a second. What? What's this? Oh, another one. Thank you. Wow, 
You made Olivia's day, Robert. It says, my name is Robert Bennett. I started watching your videos earlier this year. I am a retired Purple Heart veteran from Operation Iraqi Freedom 0608. Robert, thank you so much for your service. Um, veterans, people that fought for our country, those are the true heroes. Uh, it says, I myself started collecting just like you and quit in the 90s. I know you're going through this cancer stuff, and it'll be all right once it's all done and over with. And close for some things I've collected over the past seven years and things I've bought at flea markets. If you're ever in control, if you're ever in central PA, look me up and we'll go to my spots. I also got some things for your daughter as well. Well, she is loving those, as you saw. Uh, hope this brings a smile to you and your daughter as well. Thank you very, very much, Robert. This is a Pat Tabler Leaf Signatures. He was an all-star in 87. I think I remember Pat Tabler played for the Indians for a while. An Aaron Nola numbered rookie card out of 68. That one is nice. Wow, we got a lot of cards in here. Yeah, there's a lot of Pokemon. This is a Kevin Mensch autograph card. Uh, graded nine. Kevin Mench had the biggest head in Major League Baseball. I forget the exact size. Yeah, like his hat size was the biggest. All Pirates rookies and prospects. Good job. Oh, there's even some packs in here. Man, thank you so much. Those are hobby packs. All right, I'm back over here. It's just easier to look through cards at this table. Uh, or actually Kitchen Island rather than laying down. Uh, we have all Pirates and Rookies in here. This is pretty cool. Uh, these are guys that were on the team recently and still are on the team in some cases. There's a Steve Pierce rookie card. That card has likely gone up in value a bit after he won the MVP of the World Series this past year. Here is a jersey from Evan Meek. Evan Meek used to be my buddy, by the way. Um, Evan Meek was a big fan of mine um used to always cheer me on catching baseballs and got a real kick out of it and he was also was a big dave matthews band fan and he actually said i should meet up with him and go to a dave matthews concert out at the gorge because he is from um somewhere in washington i can't remember but then he kind of just um disappeared from the team i think he ended up with baltimore and never finalized those plans so evan meek if you're out there, I, I really wish you well, man. Um, you were one of the nicest players I ever came across. And maybe one of these days I will run into you at a Dave Matthews Band concert. There's also a stack of, it looks like, relics and stuff in here. This is awesome. We have Chris Hernandez and, whoa, Jorge Posada, Game Youth Jersey Relic. That is a good one. And then Christian Guzman Relic, James Loney from the Dodgers, Kevin Millwood, I remember him. He was pretty good with the Braves and Indians. Uh, John Jay, Matt DeSalvo, rookie card auto. Here's a dual auto. Homer Bailey, who had a really rough season last year, but he used to be pretty good. Ryan Sheely, I remember him. Jake McGee, uh, Chase Wright. And then we have this prospect, Evans. This is Dustin Evans. Matt Tuiasosopo. I remember his name was always hard to say. Willie McCovey? No way. Authentic game-worn Willie McCovey jersey. That is really good. Willie McCovey passed away last month. This Wow, David Ortiz. These are not your average relic, guys. These are really good. Um, here's a Hanley Ramirez uh, L.A. relic and uh, Catfish Hunter commemorative manufactured relic. Joe Nathan had a solid career. A Tory Hunter game used autograph. You could see he got it at a Nevada. Am I saying that right? Nevada or Nevada? You never want to say your state wrong. You say Nevada? Yeah. Okay, well, you got it at a public auction there. I know there's a correct way of saying it, but I can't really remember. Uh, Chad Hermanson. I know around here a lot of people say Latrobe instead of Latrobe. 
This is a Tim Bittner, Chris Abalka Miller. What is this? Authentic ticket stub, Jabba Chamberlain. That's pretty cool. And then we have Luis Heredia, who was a failed Pirates prospect. Stetson Alley, another failed Pirates prospect. High draft pick never panned out. David DeJesus had a pretty good career. And then we have Ron Flores, Lenny Linsky. Um, I think something slid out of there. John Smoltz relic. That is an awesome one. We pulled a John Smoltz auto yesterday out of Topps Archives. Eddie Murray numbered out of 499. And then we have one more stack to show you, Jason Giambi Relic. And then Johnny Peralta, who had a pretty good career. Uh, this one is a Moustakis, Mike Moustakis, who is a free agent again. Hopefully he fares better this time around than last time. Nolan Ryan, 1957 Tops Design, also a Houston Street. Mark Pryor, uh, Garrett Cole, rookie card. That is a nice purple um, parallel out of 199. That is a good one. And then we have a, oh, Jeff Bagwell relic. Jeff Bagwell's a Hall of Famer. That's a good one. Wow, these are, I, I hope you got a really good deal on these because I would feel kind of bad if you spent tons of money on these, but I really appreciate it. We have Darren Holmes and Mike McFarland, uh, Matt Clanton. What is it, Liz? Then we have Jose Reyes. Relic, and this is a Carlos Delgado relic. Carlos Delgado, great home run hitter. Gary Brown and Matt Davidson. Really nice. Here's old to new. A box of something for Libby is in here. Oh, man. Took her breath away. This looks like it might be for you. Oh, nice. Luis Severino rookie card. Trey Turner. Ben Attendi, Maeda, Kyle Schwarber, Gold Cup, Matt Harvey rookie card. The, you got some teeny mates. Livy loves her teeny mates. Alex Bregman, Tops Hall, Aaron Judge rookie card. Do not have that one yet. Ian Happ, Jan Moncada. Some really nice rookies in here. Check this out. Josh Donaldson rookie card back when he was a catcher. That is an awesome one. I used to have that card, and I sent it to somebody. Manny Machado. I'm glad I got the Donaldson. I've been looking at this card. I almost bought it, and I'm glad I didn't. Thank you, Robert. That's awesome. Another great card. Machado's not that popular right now, but um, that's a pretty decent card. This box, it looks like we have some Hall of Famers, SPs, short prints. Very nice. Eddie Murray, Chipper Jones on top. Carl Yastrzemski, Dave Winfield Yastrzemski. Those are good ones. I love the older ones. Some Nolan Ryans. Jay Hay Bat Relic in there. And then we have a Solarte. Bartolo Colon. I think that might be his rookie card, guys. Joey Votto rookie card. Ryan Zimmerman. Oh, Joe Maurer rookie card. That's a really good one. Um, I pulled that out of a collection that I bought, but it wasn't in the best condition. Mike Trout, second year card with the cup. And there might be two of them in here, actually. Wow, there's three Mike Trout cup cards. That's actually a pretty decent card. It's worth some money. Mike Trout's... Um, Rookie card is usually goes for about 200. That one I think goes for still, I think around 10. And Vince Horseman. So, Robert, really appreciate the box. Thank you so much for your service to our country. And thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for the uh, Pokemon cards also. Livy has not stopped playing with them. It's taken me about 25 minutes to go through your box. And she's been looking through those from start to finish. Okay, we have one more package. It's actually two packages, but it's from the same person. It's from Big K's Cards and Collectibles. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about these guys in a minute once Olivia opens the package here. You need some help, Olivia? No, I see it. Okay, this is from Coach K, Big K, and Panda J. We've got lots of packing material to keep everything safe and sound during the shipment process. All right, check it out, Libby. Let's take one thing at a time. First off, we have a Chicago White Sox 
It looks like it is an apron. You know what an What's apron this? is, right? What is this for you? That keeps you from getting dirty when you're barbecuing. Thank you for that, guys. A Mark Burley Wheaties box. Olivia, you hungry for cereal? Whoa, that's cereal? Yeah, we're not going to eat it, though. It's the display. What does Pretty mark display? display, like put up on your shelf. Mark Burley Wheaties box. And then we have a, another Mark Burley Wheaties box from 2005. And, and another Mark the, Wheaties And another box. one. They won the World Series in 2005, but beating the Astros. Look, it's Milwaukee no way. Baseball. We can play that. I will. What's this? What else do we got? got this baseball card picture. I knew it. Oh, this is pretty cool. It's all of the newspaper covers from when the White Sox won the World Series in oh, no. 2005. There's two of these. We have beach towels from the White Sox. We always need more towels around here, especially during the summertime when the pool's open. Very nice. What's... Oh, yeah. Check this out, Monopoly, a like Chicago Monopoly. White Sox edition Monopoly. I Livy, like you love Monopoly, don't you? Yes. We'll have to play that. Thank you for that. Man, be I can't see. Livy, bring it over here. What is it? It's a clock. Oh, cool. A Chicago White Sox clock. That is pretty awesome in the shape of home plate. What is it, Livy? Let it's me see that. Look. That's a picture. That's a picture. You can hang it up. This is a nice plaque of the 2005 World Series champion, Chicago White Sox. Whoa! All right, so we had some books here. The White Sox and Illustrated History. Whoa! Chicago White Sox Sports Illustrated and uh, Gold Collector Series. Whoa! And then we have, what do we got, Liv? We have some flared... Pilsner glasses for the White Sox. Those are pretty cool. Then opening it up. Careful, Liv. It's a Chicago White Sox um, little like name stand there. That's pretty awesome. We have some wristbands. You can have a World Series replica ring. Have you ever had a World Series ring before? No. Is this actually... I the think it one? is. And if it's not the real one, it's a replica and it looks just like it. Try it on. It's a little bit big. A little bit big. Yeah, that's, let me try it on. Probably fits you, maybe. Or maybe it's a little bit too big. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, uh, I can get it about that far on my hand. Get all uh, it fits my pinky, though. Check it out. Uh, World Series champion replica ring. Livy, I can't get it off now. Livy. Oh no. Can you help? It's stuck on there. Ah, uh, you should probably safe. Thank you. Yeah, you should probably give it. Put to that me. in a safe place. Yeah, I should probably keep it because I can fit it more. Right, Daddy? Yeah. Ooh. Those are wristbands. In this box, we have. Whoa, Whoa it's a bobblehead of Nelly Fox. We got three bobbleheads today. Check them out. Livy, do you want this one for your bobblehead collection? No, thanks. He's, his head's too big. His head's too big? Yeah. All right, can you put that with the other bobbleheads, Liv? Oh, Livy, here we go. Catch. We got a ball, some socks, some, oh, check this out, a rally sock. That's pretty cool. U.S. Cellular Field rally sock. We got a little miniature pennant and some uh, magnetic schedules from 05 and 06. Wow, tossing that one around. Oh, check this one out, Livy. It might be. No, it's a World Series replica oh. trophy. It's the trophy. It's a real trophy. Wow. You want that for your room? Yes, yeah, it's a real trophy. That's the the World Series winners get that trophy. Is it 
the real trophy? Yeah, that's the real trophy. It's just a smaller size. It's called a replica. Oh, Livy, we got something. You hungry? Yes. <laughs> Twelve flavored gummy bears. My kids and wife love gummy bears. Poster. This looks like a poster. Speaking of posters. <laughs> We've got enough baseball bats. Wow, look at this, guys. That is a really nice uh, pennant. Look at that. And there's the entire 2005 White Sox championship team. What's that guy? Who's That's that? Kenny Williams. He was the general manager of the White Sox. Uh, open last. This is the last one. And then I got to tell you all about Coach K, Big K, and Panda J. Let's see what is in here. It's a Tigers t-shirt. Really nice and it it Daniel Norris. I wanted a Daniel Norris t-shirt. Very nice, Daniel Norris. I'm going to wear this one all the time when I see the Tigers. Daniel Norris, one of my favorite players and I really hope to meet Daniel Norris um in the future and just talk to him a little bit and just um you know, shake his hand. That is awesome. Detroit Tigers, love the color. Orange shirt stands out at the ballpark. Livy, we have one more envelope. Lastly, we have from the Banshees, Panda J, awesome card. That is a nice looking swing. Looks like she's about ready to, to rip a ball right up the middle. Number nine, play shortstop. And also, we got Big K right here from the Phantoms playing some first base. So there you guys are. You're on the YouTube channel. Nice cards, nice autographs. A bit about Coach K, Big K, and Panda J. They sent a letter here via Patreon just to let us know everything that was in the box. And lots of stuff from 05, 06. They're big Red Sox fans, and they wanted to pass these White Sox items on to us. And some of them we're going to keep for ourselves, definitely. Some of them we might also forward to other White Sox fans out there. That is pretty awesome. Boy, the candy and that special <laughs> gift was the t-shirt. That is really, really awesome. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about their channel. They have a YouTube channel as well. I'm going to show you that right now. All right, everybody. This is Big K Panda J's and Coach K's YouTube channel. It's called Big K's Cards and Collectibles. All you have to do is search that in, and it should come up. If not, you can uh, filter it down to channels, and you'll definitely find it. You can see they have the nice K logo with the baseball seams in there, and also they have the Green Monster from Fenway Park as they are big Red Sox fans. Now, they have 24 subscribers right now. I'd like to see us get them over 100 subscribers. They do a lot of videos that are similar to mine, lots of baseball card videos, it's also a family-friendly channel, and Coach K includes his kids in all of his videos where he tells them about baseball cards and tells them stories and so on and so forth. But you can see, let's help him out. Let's get his subs up. Let's get his views up, and that would mean a lot to me because they are big supporters of this channel. Um, they support me on Patreon. They are members of the highest level of my Patreon, so they will be recognized as an official sponsor at the end of my videos in December. And maybe eventually I can collab with them on some videos. If I got to Indiana, maybe I might have to swing by. Maybe we can hit up a card shop or something. But this is a very nice family. I hope you subscribe to them. Thank you, everybody, for sending stuff in for Fan Mail Friday. Lots of packages, lots of good stuff. And I will try to start getting some replies in the mail um, this week. Sorry for the delay. The case breaks have really set me back uh, sorting thousands of cards into teams and everything and getting those out. Um, I've kind of neglected to write back to you, and I feel really bad about it, and I'm going to get caught up. Uh, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I have videos coming soon this weekend um, about an auction I went to, and also I'm going to break a subscription box.
Also, everybody, this video, Fan Mail Friday, although I'm uploading it slightly after midnight on the East Coast, I still consider it to be a November 30th video um, on the West Coast and Central Time Zone. It's not midnight yet. This will be the last video that you can leave a comment for the November giveaway. I'm giving away... Um, all this stuff that you see here, I'm picking two winners. So winner number one has first pick. Winner number two has second pick. Any of these boxes, an Altuve rookie card or a DeGrom jersey, all you have to do is comment. I will pick all the finalists in tomorrow's video, and then I have to decide if I want to do this via live stream. So you know I didn't cheat because I want to make sure everyone knows that this is legit. Um, that's probably what I have to do is a live stream to pick the winner. So thank you for commenting all month long, everybody.